Oh, right. Well, here we go. A bit more Project Zomboid. Continue right now. Let's, uh, let's look at the map. Okay. So we are up here in Valley Station. Hey, C uh, GC Danny. How's it going? No, I didn't. I was, uh, I was, uh, playing this at the time. And, uh, for some reason, they, uh, they weren't playing highlights that night. I, I mean, it's, like, right now it's the end of the hockey season, so they keep playing hockey highlights here, because that's, uh, pretty crazy. Was it a good one? I, should I, should I do, like, a highlight reel of it at some point? I, I saw it was 3-3 aggregate going into it, and I'm like, ooh, okay. They're gonna be playing all out. So... Okay. Well, I will definitely uh, check out some highlights of it. Please don't tell me how it turned out. I haven't actually looked it up yet. I will find out sometime later. Yeah, here, you know, I'm in Canada, right? So it's like when, uh, when hockey season's on, that's like everything. And, uh... There's, I want to say, four Canadian teams making the postseason. And uh, there was a, a big log jam for the final spot. So, uh, yeah, that, that kind of takes up all the sports coverage here with endless speculation about what's going to happen there. All right, so here we are, Valley Station Bus Station. Okay, so we've uh, checked that out. I think we actually looted uh, this house here already. But, uh... I'll have to check into that. So we can either go to the East Road or up north. Oh, we do need to clear out the rest of this area down here, too. So, um... You know, let's clean out the area to the south so we don't worry about that anymore. Yeah, so last time, ooh, just realized we don't necessarily have to go into this bus, but what we can do here is go into the trunk. The guy's still stuck in that bathroom, right? Okay. Nope, oh, nothing. Okay. There's, there's going to be guns in that bus if we go into the trailer part of it, but there could also be zombies and, uh, Got killed once a while back because we hopped in and there was just zombies on us immediately. Nothing we could do, bang or bit, and that's that. So, we don't hop in those things now, unless we have to. Spin that around to there for now. I don't think there's too many left over here. God, it's nice using this machete. Oh, 
Well, that horn honk, and that's where we get. Some over there. Sounds like there might be a few in that house there, too. Let's hope everything's good with you, uh, with you there, Danny. Hope all is well. Okay, and, uh, those guys are gonna break out of there sometime pretty soon. Past that train station down there, have we? We just ran over a mailbox. that a train station? That's got to be a house. What the hell do I think that's a train station? Oh, well. showing up here. These guys were killed here a while ago. There's those guys in that one house back there, but otherwise I think we've uh, cleared out this road finally. Okay. So that's going up. One blade's still going up here. There's one guy 
my way back there. Oh, there's a guy down there, too. There's a straggler or two around here still. Let's see that guy there. I wonder how nice it would have been here before the trees got here. Survivor House. Well, I guess not. Nothing in the mailbox either. I don't really want to go uh, loot it and stuff right now. We'll just leave that guy there. Not worth the risk to go in there and kill one guy that's gonna be in that house in perpetuity. Maybe I'll get out someday. We won't kill him then. So we got, uh, now we got that part cleared, we'll grab this cop car here now, I guess, and move that up. Do we have, uh, okay, we got Molotovs on us. Oh, we got a lot of Molotovs on us. up just a bit further. I want to move this up to here. Okay, we're going to have to get out and fight these guys. Somewhere around that. Oh shit. Okay, there we go.
So we gotta pull this one out of the way. Just don't know where to yet. I feel like we could probably spin around in here, right? Okay, cool. So we're getting this guy out of the way. Ain't it? Okay, we'll get in there before we uh this stuff okay, I see a bad guy right there. Really it? Well, at least we found a survivor house, right? I mean, hmm. Here we'll hop in here now. And we'll... Oh, right there, yeah, this one. Probably got most of them out of here already. I mean, they've already crashed through there clearly. Is that a katana? Oh, Rambo. Okay, yeah, Rambo knife. This guy coming up behind us also. We must have pulled most of the guys out of here with the uh, earlier sirens and stuff. Yeah, that's that uh, that place with the uh, place we already looted with the uh, propane tank in it. So. We're 
getting kind of tired. I think I'm just going to leave this area and let that uh, siren go out. So the unfortunate thing about that car is we have to get on one particular side of it. And I feel like when we do that, we're going to be, uh, we risk being trapped. So rather than risking that, we'll just get out of there. I mean, it's only 320, so I think what we can do... Bit of a side note. I guess that guy's still in there. Yep. What's the muffler look like on this beast? for that guy to break through. It is kind of freaky because they could do it at any time. Fuck me, god damn it. Really hate this. Ah, there we go. Now our engine's not as loud. Get out of there someday, don't worry about I feel like we could pull that up a bunch. 
Well, we are hitting the uh, kind of late hours that we can go to sleep. You know, we'll we'll pull it up to where we want it to go, and then we'll just head back to the bus station for now. I saw some guys in that area there. I don't think the lights are still on there. No, not that police car anymore. Well, actually, while we're here, I might as well get rid of those guys. Yeah, that's actually a fair number of guys. Get close to us there. We'll take that Might as well. I feel like that new muffler is going to help us a bit. Keep the uh, volume down for us when we're driving around. a bit of a move up. Okay, so we'll go back, we'll eat. Oh, shit. Little tiny trees, man. Quickly become the bane of our existence.
There's no back entrance here, right? Let's go hop in the bus if they're out here when we get out. Might not be able to hop. Oh, no, we can hop in. They're not tracking us. They're just banging on doors, I guess. Banging on doors like it's going to make a difference. Grass scythe here, combat knife. There's 44 auto mag pistol right there. So here we'll load up all our speed loader mags. Oh, we got scrap electronics. They can go right there. And the rest of the stuff can come with us back to the uh, trailer here. everything of substance in there so all right now we got chickpea soup with all kinds of uh things to reduce boredom 11 herbs and spices if it were as it were There we go. Now we're back to normal calories. Pretty crazy <coughs> drinking four things of chickpea soup right there, but five. So like we just sat there and drank five pots, uh, five big pots of soup in a row. We're like okay, there we go. We're back to where we were at the beginning of the day. Okay, so we're gonna drop that marinara there. We're gonna drop that sugar there. Now we're gonna sleep. We're gonna get that good 12 hours in. I guess that's 10 hours right there. as tired as we thought we were. Hmm. <sighs> Ooh, shit. Right, like these are all room temperature, right? Yeah, they are. Battery back. So 
Start cooling that stuff down pretty soon here. What does it take to cool down? It's already cold. So unrealistic. I can't, I can't, I mean. All the things to complain about in a game where zombies have come back to life and are trying to kill you. to uh, X out. We looted that one. I'm sure we looted that one earlier. And we can say that's looted down. And, uh... Yeah. Okay. See one guy off over there. Might as well. Some of them were caught up, caught on fire here. Okay, well, as many back over here as we can. Big swaths of fire. Okay. Probably turned off that car. Oh well. nothing right now. Save a bit of gas. See a couple of them come out of there. Well, 
they're all just showing up now. Okay, we should be able to get this all the way up today. Frankly, isn't the biggest deal, but it's uh, it's nice having the level ten light footed and sneaky. So today we started at 16,447. And now they're starting to die from that fire. So we killed about 300 so far. I mean, we killed maybe, what, 100 tops with the machete? Probably less than that. That's staying the same, and that means okay, no. It is moving ever so slightly. Almost halfway up to the next level. dying. Okay, I'm like, why aren't we going up any higher? And I realized, oh, they're all burning to death right now. That's the train station. Just I think. Got a few more out of the uh, woods and stuff.
This does get kind of boring, doesn't it? But hey, once we're uh, through into the city of Louisville, that's when kind of interesting stuff starts really happening. Well, there and the mall. I mean, we're going to be going to the mall pretty quick here. I guess we'd go along the East Road now if we wanted to. Already killed a thousand zombies this stream. That's pretty awesome. Just have more and more guys show up from the woods there. When I hear the sign in real life now, I'm gonna think, oh, somebody's killing some zombies. Not, oh shit, I better get out of the way. There's an emergency. Hey Fly Sundu, how's it going? Okay, halfway to level 10, light footed. Okay, I feel like we should go up and knock our horn a bit more with the cop car. Let's see if we can get more guys coming down this way. Oh, this is, uh, what, episode 136 or something of this series? Probably average about five hours an episode. But yeah, to, to say this is uh, 600 hours worth of streaming and playing is... Uh, I mean, it wouldn't be inaccurate, I don't think. Oh, we're getting those guys out of there, too, huh? Hmm. Okay, now there's a lot of guys coming. Well, the original mission was going to be try to kill all the zombies. There used to be a, a radar uh, that you could add in this to your, uh, like a mod that would show you where all the zombies are. However, apparently it doesn't work anymore. Um, so, I mean, really the goal is just kind of become kill a million zombies. That's uh, sort of where we're at. Yeah, I'm uh, trying. So the suggestion right now, we're at, uh, I want to say, almost 300,000 zombies killed. Oh shit, I thought we were hidden there. My bad. Okay, there we go. Um, okay, on this character, we got 17,622. Now, the problem with this is when we go to kills and we go to overall... You know, it says 163,514, right? Um, however, this doesn't include zombies killed by fire on from previously used characters for some reason. I have no idea why. Uh, but it, it doesn't add those in. So in the description, there's the, the full kill count there. I mean, it includes the fire on the current character you're on, right? So, yeah, but it just doesn't do that for previously killed zombies. And like with the Fiddlin' Ben's the 8th there, because uh, we're on Fiddlin' Ben's the 10th now. 
Oh, the ninth literally lasted an hour before we said, no, we can't play with this because we, uh, we chose the alcoholic trait, which is quite bugged. It was causing all kinds of issues. Anyway. Uh, but yeah, the last, basically the last character, we had over 100,000 kills by fire. And so that's just not even added into that total of 163,514. And prior to that, there was a character we used in prison that... That, uh... Ooh. Man, how many more zombies did we pull out here? Ooh, they're coming from all over. It's kind of cheesy, but it is the easiest way to kill large swaths of zombies quite quick. And, uh... I mean, with sirens, we can kill, you know, a few thousand a day. With guns and, like, machetes, I want to say, like, our, our highest ever kill day was, like, 1,500. And, uh, so far in, what, like, five hours of, uh, in-game time here, we killed, like, another 1,500 of this siren here alone. Ooh! Holy crap! That is a lot. Hmm. When they start blacking out like that, that means there's more than 500 zombies on screen being displayed. But what it means is we can wander around like this and gain tons of light-footed and sneaking experience real fast because there's so many zombies that it multiplies it so we should be able to reach level 10 in about two seconds here well maybe more than that probably two minutes oh, okay we're up to seven thousand we were at less than three thousand when we started this alarm so Oof. Eight thousand, right? Ooh, eight thousand three hundred. Eight thousand five hundred. Geez, we're about to hit level ten. Some light-footed, sneaky motherfuckers. There we go. Okay. Wow. Well. Finding out that was a just easy way to quickly level that was uh, quite helpful. Well, I guess uh, if those guys are burning. Oh man, there's like more than a thousand zombies there. Because like if that's 500, then that's I mean that's probably at least 400 or so. So yeah, about a thousand zombies around that thing. Well, plus we can't really see the ones way over here, right? So hey. Gotta say, getting good with light bars has really helped us uh, kill more zombies. Because usually they'll attack it, but if like you set off the light bar and then you attract all the zombies onto you, when they go back, they won't attack the vehicle. Like they won't path to attack the light bar. Okay, we're gonna use our car again. Our cop car here. To See if we can lure in even more zombies. You know what? Let's eat some chips while we're here. That's a lot of hungry fellows right there. The next square we're going up to has 10,000 guys in it, so... Let's see how many zombies we can kill with this one Molotov here. We'll 
use our big old level 10 sneaking here. Oh no, no, they can totally see us. They can see us. No, no, oh. No. Okay, now they can't see us. So they'll leave us alone, go back to the van or ambulance, and burn. Everything burns, so. <laughs> like how you can tell by the fire just how far up they've come. Oh, one's dropping there. They're pathing us to stop right about there, right? Yeah, it stopped. So I thought it had. Might have one or two coming towards us still. Nope. There they go. Well, I guess you know what we're going to do now. Might as well forge. See if we can spot anything. Ooh. Yeah, we will pick up those berries. That fucking moose just scared the shit out of me. Like, <gasps> whoa, what's that? I heard some weird sound. Well, we just got those berries. They're fresh. You can tell we're not hungry. I'm really glad we have that one book that lets you know which is poisonous and which isn't. Get more coming in by now. We're up to 18,000 kills already, so we're at 2,200 for the stream already, and we're like an hour in. So. Well, let's do some more forging. Let's see if we can find anything. All the zombies get killed. Alright, we'll discard those twigs. We're gonna go up and honk one more time with our car. See how many more guys we can throw in here after that it's six o'clock so it takes them about three or four hours to burn so i mean we'd be done at 10. which isn't too unreasonable We'll let those guys uh, catch up again. They'll probably come up to about here this time. <sighs> Not up to there already. There we go. On our way 
back. All right. Well. Stinking cockroaches. Stand around here. That should get more of the guys from up over here to go. So there comes a point when we move too far over the other way and they won't, uh, they essentially just won't show up anymore. Does seem like we're pulling a few more out. I guess they're stuck in them trees. Yeah, not too many on there. Oh, we're almost at 19,000. Kind of tired. Why are you doing this? Well, it's to try to get the rest of those guys on fire. I think we cleared out this, uh... When we, we came up here and honked the horn last time. That should light all those guys up on fire real quick here. Just hanging out here, they should all. We broke line of sight, we're not making any noise. They'll go to the ambulance. Not that guy, he's coming to kill us. trick we learned from the uh, Discord. Well, we're going 
gonna be stuck here, might as well. bit of thread. Or every time we get thread that means our tailoring is going up ever so slightly. I guess one point. And you know what? We're just going to have to stand here for a bit so we might as well... Oh man, there's some more stragglers coming. It will be about 19,300 by the end of this would be my guess. Consolidate all that thread. All right, cool. And then let's uh, dump all these dirty rags. And why not those ripped sheets, too? Okay. All that clothing while we wait for them to burn. They should be burned in just a bit here, right? Like, they... I mean, some of them might take a little while, in which case we can, uh... We can just... Wait for a bunch of them to go, and then we'll... We'll leave the two or three that are left over, right? And there's no point in... Waiting to kill all of them. This becomes a bit of a waste of time after a bit. Hey, as long as we can, uh... Damn, like, where are these guys coming from still? I thought we lured you all in, man. Really did. Because, like, I mean, a guy getting lit on fire now, he's not going to burn to death till about midnight, right? I don't want to stand here for another three hours, so... Hey, we can up our tailoring a bit. Might as well take the time. Once we're done this uh, ripping up this clothing here, I think we'll just take off. So there's like, what, a dozen guys there? just leave turns off the uh, alarm for us so yay okay
Okay, I'll put those back there. Turn that off and we'll sleep for a bit. Bang. There we go. So it's 9 o'clock. We need to have a cigarette. sat around for two hours eating just to start off the day. Big hearty breakfast before we go kill more zombies. Okay, so we got other strips and thread for this. Oh, we left those empty bottles in there, didn't we? Okay, well, we can get them next time. It's not a vital thing right at this exact moment. got there's a lot of these guys were on fire so they're pretty damaged last three take all the pushes Probably what's damaging our mufflers so much right here. that.
I didn't know this was gonna be this. I didn't even see that, uh... Like, where did these guys all come from? They must have came from over there. Okay. Yeah, we know that we're fucked right now. No, that's, uh... Fuck. We're gonna have to bring up a different vehicle. Use that. I didn't realize we had all those guys behind us, man. You know. Um, see, learning from earlier mistakes. Oh, hey, Light Strip, how's it going? That, uh, yeah, you just bail when you're in that kind of situation right there. I was like, there's got to be some way to salvage this. No, no, there isn't. Just let it go. And uh, we got these cop cars here. We'll bring one up. And all that happened there really was we wasted a uh, Molotov cocktail. And Hopefully we lured in a bunch of guys that we can now kill with this cop car here. Oh, we didn't throw the... We didn't even throw the Molotov cocktail. Well, no wonder. Did we? I don't know. Still wandering down this way. there. Okay. Let's try to keep all these guys back over here. Show them more coming in just a moment. For now. Come down here and we'll throw as many as we can into the fire here. I guess we'll have to go hide back here behind this tree. Which is not ideal, but... These guys might have seen us. Oh, they're going back. Unfortunate, but yeah, we're gonna have to slowly get our way back there by doing this. Let's see, we were there last time, so. I'm 
Let's see if we can go loot this house here. these guys still showing up here? I feel like we're going to have to run up here and kind of try to lure some maybe with our voice. Oh man. It might just be easier to kill them right here. You know, we'll bring that cop car up to the spot where we are right now where we're killing these zombies and we'll set off the alarm here. So we got one guy following us from back there too. Shit, this is gonna turn off the alarm if we go too much further. In fact, we might even be there right now. No. Please tell me that didn't turn off the uh, police alarm. Oh, it did. And it hurt the guys from being on fire to not being on fire. Well. Sure looks like we're gonna have to lure all these guys onto us and went too far away from it, didn't we? Still on fire. I feel like we're just gonna have to molly these guys again. Damn, I don't want to use another Molotov cocktail that quickly though. Especially for such a small group of guys. You know what? We could just. We can just shoot these guys with a Sten gun. Um, but first things first. Where is it? Oh, there we go. Oh, 
fit, you know. Think about it, it'll be faster just to go around and kill these guys with this gun here. Shit. That was a close one. Got all these guys. Got the alarm off. Hey, what are we at now? Oh, jeez, we only killed like a couple hundred there. I guess we did have that kind of mess up earlier, right? Here, okay, let's open the uh, soup and drink that.
Holy crap. Well, on the upside, a bunch of them are still on fire. Downside. Oh, jeez, you guys, get over here. Go towards the cop car. Hopefully this will uh, this will hide us enough. Oh, yeah, that it is. There's like ten thousand zombies in the next square up. So got that guy over there. Okay, there they're going back. Okay, yeah, they're all going over there. Ooh. Oh, look at how many there are here. Oh my god, man. This is like at least two or three thousand zombies here already. Okay. Holy shit, this leg is messing it. It's all up. Okay. Ooh. Ooh. No, like I was there till just now. Die, man. Jeez. I'll take that. Okay. I mean that that's close to five thousand zombies at this point. Ooh. Okay, well. I mean, like, look at that. That's... Okay, hold on. How many kills do we got right now? We got 19,390. Okay. There's more coming in, too. Whew. Was 19390 at the start? And more and more guys are coming in too. Thought one of them just saw me there. So we'll head down here. Just need to break that line of sight. I'll go back to the uh, sirens in no time. Okay, wow. Might as well eat. Let's eat some dog food. Well, that'll make us really unhappy. I guess we could sit and read the book right afterwards, too. We'll sit in our cop car, we'll eat our read our book after eating some dog food. So that cheers me up after eating dog food. Oh. Yes, yes. Originally it was gonna be clear the map, but uh the um there's a mod that was like showing you where all the zombies are. Uh it doesn't work anymore, though, so I'm like, well, you know, I don't think we're going to be able to actually clear the whole map. But if we kill a million zombies, that's pretty close. So the goal now is kill a million zombies, hopefully before Build 42 comes out. thousand zombies there already. Okay, we're gonna go this over here. So 
So we got more and more zombies up here. God, we're already pretty tired too. Should we should turn on these? This before doing that, but oh well. Yeah, we had to abandon that one last time because we ended up getting surrounded by uh, by zombies. So that'll work out. I mean, uh, by the time I picture being done this series, we'll have like cleared out all the towns and uh, Louisville. So. Yeah, I mean, uh, if, if we still have more time to go we could always try going to the military base and uh to the uh uh there's like a gas station way way over here that we haven't actually gone to yet They're probably going to end up being here a bit longer for it. Okay, I'm just going to speed things up here a bit. here a bit quicker. I mean, I, I kind of want to just leave them, but i to let these guys burn, and more and more groups keep showing up, though. Yeah, let's just get out of here. Can't wait here any longer. Oh, yeah, yeah, for sure, you know. By all means, work is more important than uh, watching me stream. So, I believe I've said that to uh, other people here also. <laughs> back there. 
We need another lighter, don't we? Let's scrap electronics away there. Loosen our backpack. If we have lighters, yeah, there we go. Smoke that. We'll fill everything. Let's uh, drink a couple beers. Okay, cool. And we'll take those beers. With the other empties we got. That's oh, one o'clock. Jeez. We slept a while here. Like a long time. Actually, I'll keep that marinara. We'll uh, figure out something else to do with it. Oof. Okay, so we got 22,267. So we almost killed 3,000 zombies there from when we started kind of keeping track of them. So, here since the start of the stream, we've killed, uh, what, 6,000 or so? Almost. So, 6,000 zombies in less than two hours, I'll take it. There. Actually, no, no, wait, wait, wait. Uh, can't find anything else to do right this second. Uh, we'll get rid of those ACP rounds later on. Okay. Yes, yes, I'd say we've gotten considerably better at this. And I mean, one of the big things is just knowing when to bail out of situations there because we got in a pretty sticky situation where the ambulance was. Or when we turned on the alarm, a bunch of zombies started coming up from this direction of the road, too. And I'm like, I threw a Molotov, and I'm like, oh, we gotta try to get them into the fire bit. And I'm like, nope, there's no chance. We're gonna get surrounded if we do that, so just accept that we uh, lost a Molotov, and we'd have to come back for our ambulance later on, but there was no, uh, really no hope there, so. Plus we had another uh, cop car just down there with the siren. Let's see if, if we can make it up to the ambulance. Turn it on. Okay, yeah, we might be able to get get away with this right here. Come on, get in. ways we can get without shutting off that alarm. We can hide back here. Okay, they don't have line of sight. I think that alarm might still be going off. I 
I think they're going back. Most of them are, at least. Might have to fight a few with the machete here, but... No, no, yeah, they're all going back. Okay. We can take on, like, six of the machete, no problem here, so... Yeah, that alarm must be on. They wouldn't be going back that way. Wasn't. Yeah, there they go. Ooh. Side note, I just want to check something quickly. Okay, so we got this thing here. It's a map of the zombie population here. So we're in this 7,000 block now. And there's 10,000 up there. Oh yeah, um, we were all about the spear for the longest time. And then this uh, this life where it was like, oh, let's we got like 30 machetes. Let's start using some of those and see how they work. Because we got like 26 katanas, 30 machetes. Got to use them sometime, right? So, yeah. Oh yeah, this is actually just something I got off Reddit. Somebody did a, at max population, cell by cell, how many zombies there are. Uh, and this does not include zombies in houses. Um, because those typically spawn in when you get near them. Although we have another mod that spawns them when you enter the cell. So when we enter here, all the zombies in these houses appeared. Um, so it's like 7,304 plus probably another 20 or 30 maybe. So, anyway, we're up right about here right now. So we might be pulling some of that 10,000 in, but... I think we're still just kind of on the 7,000 here. Anyway. Just wanted to see what that was like there and how many zombies we should be looking at killing in this, uh, this area before I move on. Seeing the ones coming from over there. There really shouldn't be too many in these woods here. But. All right. Ah, okay, well. Sprinting's almost up another level. Nimble's a third of the way up. Guess we can get our foraging up a bit. It really sucks we left foraging level 3 back at the base. So I mean, we'd be done this level already. We had the book. Looks like there aren't really too many more zombies coming this way. Still, I mean, there's... I guess a thousand there. So we'll be out of the, the zombies in this area. In no time. And, uh... Remember, there's about a hundred thousand grand total here in Valley Station, so... Um, and we killed about a thousand so or so in West Point, so we've killed about 21,000 of the zombies in Valley Station here. I do wonder how many are in the mall, because if that counts as an indoor thing, and I think it does, then there could be far more in the, the areas at the mall there than are showing up there, even though it says there's 25,000 on that one map. You know what? Let's let's forge a bit.
You know what, if we take this off, I think this is what's, uh... Screen for vision, okay, yeah. Fine, I guess we'll use... Go without our Jason Voorhees style mask. Yeah. Um, usually it would be Windows, but we, uh... I forget who it was, they suggested a mod that makes them spawn when you enter the... As you can see, it was kind of divided up into squares there. So the second you enter the square, that spawns all the zombies in that area. So we don't have to go around looking in windows. Um, we didn't have that on until just recently. Is this bleach? Uh, well, that's an empty bottle. We don't need that. Like, did we find a bottle of bleach in the middle of the road? Let's forge over here a bit. What else are we gonna do while we wait? Well, they're burning now. Let's see that kill count just ticking up like crazy. Yeah, well, uh, you could see the, the big system lag there when we had all those, uh, those huge amounts of zombies there. And yeah, apparently it is uh, kind of harder on the CPU and stuff. Okay, we haven't gotten to Louisville. Um, That's, uh, I feel like that's going to be kind of difficult. Okay, we're going to head up with our car and honk the horn. Turn on the road now. can't be the only group that's shown up here. Soaking wet right now from doing all that running. I guess we're luring a few more from over there. Hmm. Okay, I didn't realize there's so many over there still. Okay, now they're. Now they're coming out of the woodwork. Okay, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to hit F4 so it goes a bit faster.
idea why they're all coming out now. kind of boring, but hey, fast forward it and a bunch of these guys get burned. I don't see more guys showing up in a bit. Okay, that's good enough for now. Cool. Yeah, that or they were caught in trees. Um, I, I find, uh, okay, so like if we're up here, there's certain zombies that would be coming from over here that won't move until we get closer to them. And they won't move towards the noise. Which is, uh, you no, know, th there's like game mechanics we keep discovering in this that we had no idea existed until the moments earlier. So what we're probably going to have to do is we'll go to sleep. Um, and then tomorrow I think we'll just sit in and make some soup. And, uh, after that's done, then we'll, we'll, uh, we'll, um, yeah, we'll, uh, go out because hopefully the rain will stop by then. like the thing is right now because we're so tired by the time we go to sleep and wake up it'll probably be uh oh like the next day like four o'clock or so oh. i want to go to sleep here okay there we go Okay, so it's still raining. It's noon. I suppose we could just go out now. I don't like doing this when it's raining, though. Well, it looks like the rain stopped. Okay. Well, you convinced me, game. soup in just a bit. I think we got enough for all the different soups there. Hmm. Yep. There it is. There's still those two zombies in there. I just, I don't want to go open the doors and have to deal with them. It's a, it's a scary, uh, Scary shit in this game now is opening doors. Okay, so currently we're at 24,165, so the stream we've killed almost 8,000 already. Oh, man. 
man, it's raining again. Um, okay, I mean, we could probably kill these guys here with a Sten gun or whatever. What I was thinking is we lure them up here. And then we'll turn the ambulance on. Back. We'll light them up. We've got this big group right up here too. running under those signs because you can't really tell where as are or aren't. That's coming for us. Pretty sure we broke line of sight with them zombies. down there and then we'll take this car up. Pull the horn a bit. Okay, we're good now. We can Let's see some over there. Pretty sure the ambulance is still going off here. Starting to see some show up from up there. Oh shit. spotted us. Okay, I think he's the last guy though. We might have one or two on us right now. Okay. We got 
wet out here. Just what I was trying to avoid by not fighting in the rain. Error one. That's no good. sign. Okay, this should get the guys who are up there still coming forward. Here. sight with all of them. Probably come up to there and then go back. We have 10 sneaking, so... Like we should wash ourselves in these puddles while we wait. Also feeling like uh, we got that cop car back here. Just bring it up to there and uh, set it off right here. See if we can clear out the uh, the side road here. Right now we're kind of clearing out the other... Ooh. off in this little puddle here. I don't know when I want to get clean. There's nothing quite like puddle water. That battery's going to run out pretty soon. We have the rain cleans blood mod so that it'll uh, take this stuff away as it rains. Jeez, we're down to a quarter tank with this boost. Suck. We're gonna have to probably plow over two zombies or so.
Just need to be standing here so that more of the zombies from this area can come down. I'm stopping up that intersection. Okay, we're starting to get a few too many guys coming out of them trees now. I guess we'll just head over here and let them, uh... Is good for them. Once we get this group done, figure we'll head back, maybe make soup. That's what we're planning on. Just move forward for now. I kind of want to check down this road quickly before we go back. Okay, I think that's the train station. Uh, junkyard there. Zombies up against the fence there. Okay, so we got this wreck here we're gonna have to clear. There might not even be that many left in this area. So there's one in front of that door right there. The ones that showed up before that alarm fully went off. Hmm. I feel like we should stun gun those guys, but uh, it is pretty late already, so. I feel like maybe we should just head back. Gas at our, uh... Hmm? Oh, yeah. You can wash rain puddles. There's just not enough, uh, uh, water in there to wash your clothing. So you can't wash your clothes in rain puddles, but you can wash up. 
But sure, if you think about it, if it's deep enough and say you're covered in blood, you could easily, you know, rinse it off there. I always think of this one, uh, God, was it I Shouldn't Be Alive? Um, well, this guy was like a British uh, SAS person. They were in, I think, Sierra Leone or something. And they had an outpost that was just like four guys. And uh, they had some locals or whatever. Anyway, the, the place ended up getting overrun. And uh, these, uh, you know, four British guys had to like run off in the, the jungle in Sierra Leone. And uh, try to escape. Well, uh, you no, know, they'd been shot. They had no food or anything on them. And uh, anyway, so after not drinking any water for you know a day and a half and in, in sweltering heat, they found this puddle and they all just drank from it. And uh, they ended up getting rescued like a day later or so. Um, but then, like several months later, they were. Uh, uh, this guy was, uh, just sitting at work and he all of a sudden got this terrible pain in his back. And then he found out that he got some parasites from that puddle he drank from. I'm like, okay, yeah, that, that sounds pretty terrible. Don't drink from random puddles in Africa, I guess, is the, uh, moral of that story. Uh, drink more beer here. Keep drinking beer so that we can uh, make Molotov cocktails out of them. actually going to stay away. Let's eat some tuna. Big tuna. Actually, here's what we're going to do. We're going to hop in here. gas cans here. A third um Okay, cool. So we'll do that. We're going to hop out here. We're going to put the uh, extra Molotov cocktails we got in here. Carry safe four on us. The rest of this gas we will load up our car a bit more. And okay. Then we'll go clear out that road there. Sten gun. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um. Oh. What the? Oops. Guess we moved our fanny pack.
imagine how many people would be running around with fanny packs in the zombie apocalypse because of this game. Hmm. Oh, yeah, for sure, Anthony. Uh, yeah. There was Galvis, yeah. Is that Annalyn Rose Gout? Rose Galvitz. Okay, cool. <laughs> like, why am I having such trouble saying this name? This doesn't make any sense. But yeah, yeah, well, we're uh, gonna keep going. We got, ooh, 24,952 dead. This character so far. Um, who we'll actually will, uh, yeah, put that in both hands. Go through this way to go get our cop car there. Yeah, we'll put those out there. Put those in our backpack for now. Why do we still have this wrench on us? Hmm. I'll put it there for now. I feel like that belongs in the trunk here. Yeah. Yeah, you know, it's uh it's pretty crazy thinking of like how much like we're at seven th or we're 766.7 hours. There's probably a hundred hours of gameplay in the, uh, of, you know, between the first run and the wolf extraction quest. Maybe 150 if you include the uh, first attempt at doing this here. But yeah, this is... Like 600 hours of Project Zomboy playthrough. And this one here. Yeah. Man, there, there's like a lot of guys here. I can see why, like, you know, there's certain ways people play this. And once again, there is no wrong way to play Project Zomboid. There's people like, oh, you can't have multi-hit on or, or this, that, or the other thing. There's no wrong way to play it. Play it whatever way you feel comfortable. But I gotta say, I, I understand why there's certain people that are like, no, when I'm... When I die with a character, that's it for the run. I quit and start anew. Um, because, you know, we're here in, what, August of year three at this point? And everything's so overgrown that, I mean, we're not like the 10 years later mod yet or anything. But it's like all these, all these, you know, driveways and everything, all these trees here. Like, these wouldn't be here normally, right? Like, it, it wouldn't be this this populated with trees. There wouldn't be all these little mini trees here everywhere. There wouldn't be this row of trees here or anything.
Anyway, and uh, it does get kind of annoying and a bit like, uh, I mean, I guess it adds a bit to the realism, but kind of wish there wasn't this, uh, like, I kind of wish we'd turn the growth off so there wouldn't be random trees popping up here and there and everywhere. I guess whatever the, uh, the decay that occurs in this game. Get any guys out? There's just not enough here currently to use the uh, Molotovs and stuff, right? guys here. It's not currently. I feel like we should quit honking because you know what? We'll set up the cop car now. Just down here. Oh, a bunch of barrels. Reload a little bit faster when the zombie's coming towards you, dude. We don't want any panicking or nothing, but... back there. I think enough we're gonna go on that fire that we don't need to worry about it too much. I 
I think they destroyed the light bar. So I feel like they might have. It seems like they're still going over there. near that junkyard, I think. I don't think of any other places for it currently. That does kind of suck, though, like I thought we'd, uh... Thought we'd be okay, you know? thought so. leave all that.
Okay, didn't mean to do that. I kind of wanted to do this. Ooh. Hmm. Oh yeah, right. Well, there's too many guys around. It doesn't let you multi-select uh, stuff. It's like one of the ways they save stuff. Oh, hey, Dragon Sun. Oh, okay. Cool. Well. Sorry, I didn't look for a little bit there. I was just uh, busy with other stuff. Ooh, is there a, a thing of bleach? An empty bottle. All right, well, somebody uh, decided to end it. Awesome. Oh, we're gonna leave those guys to uh, burn for now. Um, there appear to be a couple of doors here. Oh, sweet. Totally use all that. Gotta be a bathroom here, right? Oh, rubber ducky, you're the one. Okay. Three threads, well, we'll take both of those. We were able to select it like that, so that means the most of those guys are gone. zombies. I wasn't sure if it was these two or if there was guys in here. Move around to the other side. Oh, what about here? Ah, gun case. A heavy BMG. Wow, that thing weighs 14. Right? Okay, so there's a big fucking gun in there. Fuck it, let's grab it. A Barrett 82A1. Ooh. I love about Kentucky. You find random sniper rifles and uh, 
best places. Yep. It's okay. I'm going to come over here. I'm going to turn off this uh, siren for now. to destroy this light bar, right? Like, I heard a random zombie there, didn't I? I guess I'll put this here. And that empty tin can too. Okay, cool. We'll loot the convenience store and then uh, I think we'll head back for the night. And we're up to 25,499 kills, so that's like 9,000 for the stream. And we're clearing out the, the road along here and some good loot going on too. More propane and propane accessories. It was weird when these things weren't rotten for a little while there. We'd go into these things and we wouldn't find just everything had gone rotten. I figure uh, people drop in and drop out and I mean I gotta say there are some uh, some people used to watch that seem to have vanished and I'm like okay well hopefully uh, all is well with you and you know uh, by and large it does suck that you know people tune out sometimes but hey that's uh, that's life if, if something's better able to capture your attention than me by all means uh, I just I hope you get something out of it you know, I'm not owed your attention, or your views, or likes, or subs. If you do, then great. If you don't, hey, hopefully I can do better. But, you know, I I watch live streams and stuff the same way, right? Where it's like, you know, there's uh, some channels I've been fans of for years and just... Yeah, just kind of lose interest in kind of what they're doing. And, uh... I mean, it's like any relationship, you know? It, uh, you grow apart over time, you grow together and stuff, and... Um... Yeah, we can't really... Too much right now. Yeah, we're gonna just have to enter here and put a bunch of stuff away.
we got propane. So we jam that there. Uh. We got room for tortilla chips, I think we do. We'll just eat these gummy worms. Yeah, true, true, but you know, that's at the end of the day, that's their problem. You got your life to worry about, they got theirs, and uh I mean it's It's like they can't all be winners, you know. Um The way uh what's his name? Bo Burnham put it, is that you know, our society now we uh we don't have any other things to like explore. Like there's no islands that are just going to be found that have, you know, massive wealth and riches on it. It's like that doesn't exist anymore. Um, but what we do have is attention and there's value in capturing people's attention. Um, And uh, this is being more and more, I want to say, colonized within capitalism. Where, you know, we have smartphones now and stuff like that. And, uh, I mean, it's just, it's a weird attention economy. Um, I mean, it existed before with, like, you know, TV shows and stuff. But not, not to the same level it is now. It's, uh... really a lot of different things competing for attention and uh, I got your attention great if not hey that's uh this that's capitalism you know for lack of a better term and uh, okay we'll put this here I'll have to put this away in our our armory at some point Okay, but everything else. Oh, the rubber ducky and salt. Those are the other two that should go right here. Yep. You know, I, I do like this series, but yeah, I mean, at some time it's, it's gonna end, and, uh, It's just, you know, I hope it's for the right reasons. Like, hey, we're moving on to uh, something that's more fun and uh, more challenging and stuff. And put those there. Oh, the instant popcorn. We'll put that there, too. Okay, actually, we'll uh, equip that primary. Secondary. Put these both here. There's a phrase I think of sometimes, it's like, God, I wish I could just forget all about that, go over and start it over again. It's like that with some TV series and stuff, where, 
You know, you just wish you could watch it again for the first time. But, uh... Hey, you can't. You know. Unless you get amnesia, in which case, uh... I mean, I'm sure that it's not worth the, uh, the hassle. You know, forgetting absolutely everything. But, uh... Oh, when I was uh, in university, we uh, one of the classes I took was the philosophy of aesthetics, and like how do we uh, how do we find things beautiful? How do we find things artistic? What 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 exactly is art? An art object that somebody interacts with, and what what is it to interact with an art object? And I mean, there's been a, a lot of thoughts and you know theories and a lot of stuff written on this as to what it does. Um, you know, from uh, what was it? Uh, catharsis that uh, so or no Aristotle said about it. That you have a cathartic effect. So like, you know, we'll watch a, a TV show and it'll make us cry. But I'll feel like, oh, we had a good cry over that because that character, you know, made us this way. Blah, blah, blah. Anyway, and it, it allows us to get out emotions that we otherwise, you know, kind of bottle up. Um, and then uh, I, I, there's a line in, um, what's it, V for Vendetta? where it's artists tell us a lie that teaches us a greater truth. You know, so, uh... Yeah, I think a movie like Black Swan, where it's like, I don't care about ballet, I don't understand ballet, I don't get it, it's not my thing. I don't really care about it one way or the other. But that bit where, you know, she dances the Black Swan, it's like, holy shit, I feel it. Like, I'm like, okay, now I get what this is about. I get that it's, uh... Actually, we need to mark some things off here quickly. But it's, you know, you, you understand a bit more, like, there's stuff to this that, you know, I still don't quite get, but I get that it's, I can see the beauty in it, even without really understanding it. And uh, it's always nice when you, you encounter stuff like that, 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 you know, once again, I still, I've never seen ballet before in my life, but... Upon seeing that, I'm like, okay, I get the, uh, the big deal about it. Anyway, um, when it comes to art, though, there's, uh, these two other concepts. That one is a significant form, and another one's cyclical distance. Now, what cyclical distance is, is, um, say you're watching, uh, well, the example I like to use is uh, you're watching a magician saw a woman in half or whatever, like the, the assistant. Now, if you were to walk into a theater and actually see a guy saw somebody in half, you know, um, I don't know, like when Tom Green sawed that dead raccoon in half, that was one of the grossest things. He, he found a roadkill raccoon and saw it in half because he's Tom Green. It's the Tom Green story. Or show. And, uh... Anyway, gross. But if you actually saw a guy cutting a woman in half, you'd go, oh my god, stop it. Stop it now. And uh, I believe the example used, I forget what the, the guy was that wrote the essay, uh, what his name was. But he said, like, if, if some yokel was watching Hamlet and said, whoa, you can't kill Claudius. You know, he had ran up there or whatever. Maybe it's Macbeth that he was saying. Anyway. I, I forget which uh, which Shakespearean play, but if somebody in the audience thought, "Oh, well, I'm not watching a bunch of actors. I'm watching, you know, something really happen here," um, it would change how people would interact with the art object. Um, so we accept that, hey, this is fake that you're watching. And yeah, I like using magicians because it's sort of like, well, uh, you know, this this all comes. Oh, actually, no, I'll explain the. Uh, the there's significant form is another thing, which is like, why are some paintings beautiful and have this ability to evoke stuff from us and, and others don't? Like, others are just, like, they're nothing. Um, and uh, what is it that, that makes that... that? And anyway, it's the concept of significant form. Um... And actually, uh, within the class, we got shown the example of this one guy who, uh, he's, uh, actually, um, 
We should turn that off for now. We should go loot these and then we'll we'll use the cop car there. But uh, here we'll turn this off. Anyway, and so like there's there's something to be said about that that art object and uh, cyclical distance that uh, I think magic in particular shows um, shows us something where um, if you watch a magic trick and you don't know how it's done you don't believe like oh I don't know how they sawed that woman in half but but you accept that they clearly didn't do that however a true magic trick gives you the inability to have some other reason for it. So it's like, I don't have a better excuse for how they sawed that woman in half and put her back together than that they sawed her in half and put her back together. Like, I can't think of how this trick could possibly be done. I can't think of how I just saw that. Or, you know, when you see somebody like levitate or disappear in front of your eyes, you know, like you, you think of, you know, great magic tricks you've seen. You see some sleight of hand and you're like, that's impossible. You, you put that over there and now it's behind my ear. That that couldn't be. And, um, yeah. So there's that. But the second you know how the trick is done, you can never experience it as an art object ever again. Like, you won't... Like, once you know the way that they saw a woman in half, is, and spoiler alert here... They have fake mechanical legs that are down at the bottom, and she kind of tucks herself up in the, the one half of it, and they put dividers in, and uh, then they have this saw go through. Okay, so he's over there, huh? Oh, I didn't know I could open that door. Anyway, so, uh, yeah, with magic in particular, the, like, once you know how a trick's done, you never, you just see how they perform the trick. You don't ever see the magic anymore. Like, that's, that's just gone, it's over, it's done. Never to come back. And, uh, I mean, you could still get things out of a, you know, reading a book over that you've read again. And, you know, you might see something there. Might experience it at a different time in your life and, and get something there um, that you didn't didn't necessarily see in the store uh, like the book you read it at whatever time it was you read it um, actually you know we could move this up a bit further here what's up here see a house there that business is for lease I don't know what that is but okay you no, know, maybe we'll move this up over here. But, um, yeah, so magic exists in kind of this different plane from other artistic experiences. Yeah, it, it's like, yeah, you just appreciate the skill of the magician. I remember watching uh, Penn and Teller uh, do their, their thing where they were having, like, the magic contest or whatever. And there was a bit where they they watched this guy do this uh, do this trick, and they're like, you know, usually we disqualify you because we saw the sleight of hand there. However, we have no idea how you did that trick, so we're going to keep you in the competition. And uh, anyway, uh, I, I just remember seeing that and being like, wow, you, you stumped them as to how you did a trick. That's that's got to be pretty good. I mean, that's Penn and Teller. They're the uh, They're the, uh, the magicians who reveal things. Anyway, but there's this thing where you, when you see that, you, you get the cyclical distance and the significant form kind of combined. Where you see the form of a trick. You understand it's just a trick, but when you, you really have no better explanation than just, oh, magic, that's how they did it. Uh, even knowing, like, hey, magic doesn't exist. There's no way they, you know, used magic there. Uh, changes your experience. Kind of like this, like, playing this game, I remember, like, when we started playing, we didn't look at the maps or anything. And there was something about it where, um, god damn it. Okay, we'll, we'll, we'll 
we'll get you down here and we'll have to lure these guys over and then we'll turn on the, uh, the siren and whatnot. Okay, and then we'll come back over here and hide around these parts. Anyway, and th you know, there's some magic that gets lost in playing this where, you know, you... Uh, you really notice it every time you play the game where it's like, oh man, I need a sledgehammer. Okay, I found a sledgehammer. That sledgehammer problem's done and dealt with. And, uh... Just as you get the good loot and don't have to do the, uh... Do the other things. Okay, we're... I guess we're just gonna try to lure these guys in over here. And then we got far enough away from the cop car that we can hop in. Are we actually ever going to be able to get in that cop car again? I mean, it's like, yeah, there's too many guys here now. Damn. Maybe we kill these guys and kill a few others. Actually, we'll, we'll come over here and hide. Let's hope that that's far enough away. Hmm. Actually, good example. I saw that movie Civil War on last week, Thursday. I saw it again this Tuesday, and uh, strongly recommend that movie. I was uh, very, very surprised by it. Well, I mean, I wasn't surprised, but it was just, it was so well done. It really kept me, uh, kept me into it. It's, it's weird seeing the apolitical war movies, because they don't, those aren't done that often. I'll try to get these guys out of here now. See if we can uh, make it back to the cop car. Uh, I'm still seeing guys right around it. So we'll come over here and hide, and we'll hopefully break line of sight with them enough that they'll kind of hang out up there, and then we can sneak over. just ain't working out for us, is it? It looks like we might be able to reach that cop car.
my god. Okay. Got one more on us. I think we might have got enough. Okay, I think they're all going over that way now. Yep, there they are. Okay, cool. Well, that was a bit of a distraction, wasn't it? strange. It was probably the shot that did it. group there. Glad the good crowd just uh, showed up there. Okay, and we've uh, killed most of the guys on the other side here, so... That's a lot of guys, and they're going to burn that thing down. Whatever, it was for lease. Ooh. This is better than most normal houses. Industrial breaching hammer. Wow. We'll take that propane torch. Hey, duct tape. We'll take that for sure. That was for lease, right? That whole building. Hey, there we 
there we go. There we go, we got a salon gnome. Okay, we're gonna have to go get that lawn gnome. How many guys will be left in this? We did just honk the horn here. Operation Gnome Snatches ago. We got a propane tank back there, but now we should uh, let these guys get cleared out. There really ain't too many guys left here anymore now, are there? Actually, we should repair the machete we currently have because it's almost gone. And we can repair it halfway with just some duct tape. Mm, you know what, we're kind of tired, but I feel like we can uh, do this in both hands.
crap, I had my hand in the wrong spot. So I hit the wrong button there for a way to run. So I was going to run backwards. Ooh. Close. Yeah, man, I really like that philosophy of aesthetics class. It was uh, something else. With a lot of crazy concepts. Like the sublime. And, uh... Just good old Kantian stuff. Of course, it barely makes sense. Well, the concept of the sublime is like, imagine a cliff without a bottom. Now, such things cannot exist within reality, but you can imagine it. And that's what art is able to evoke from you. That one's like, uh, like those staircases that lead into themselves. Um, had a bit of those in Inception, right? Remember that movie? Try to get this. this moved up here. Almost 10,000 kills for the stream so far. I figure this would be a 10,000 kill one at least. Maybe even more. Wait, is this the end of it? There's a dirt road there. One over there by the uh, by the beach. Okay, shit, so there are more there. Well, we'll leave before they all arrive. And I guess we'll use that next time. I didn't realize we were down to uh, just a random dirt path for the rest of the way in these houses here. Take that. So nice. Almost cleared out the, uh, you know, this part of, uh, um, Valley Station. We'll just have to go over there and we'll, we'll have to turn on the siren there. I'm not sure how many zombies will come out for that part, but 
Well, there are too many. Head back. Ooh. Okay, first things first. Okay, I'll clip that. Okay, We're down to 250 of those, huh? That is kind of nuts. That's so much fishing gear now. Um, what was there? I'll put the butter there. David the Gnome, you're going there too. Flour, ketchup, duct tape, um, scrap electronics there. Oh shit. Oh, there we go. There we go. Back home, we'll smoke a cigarette, eat a bit of food. there. Those there. And we got these. I meant to do that with the stand, not the water bottle. Okay. Wow. Um. Two cans of spaghetti. Full calorie wise. Let's eat some chili.
Okay, now before we go do anything, um, wait, we looted that, that, that house, that house, that house. Just wanted to see this. Okay, so that just kind of goes up to there. Hmm. So we still have 1,200 there. Right, maybe that's some of the guys we're, we're luring over here now. Oh, this does does seem like we cleared most of this area out. I mean, I guess there's just that part there, right? Hmm. Well, you know, yeah, let's finish off that area. And, uh... That way we can pull our cop car back and put it in a better spot. We still have an ambulance down over here to start getting our way up to the mall that way. I was figuring what we'd kind of do is push up here all the way up to, this is the Louisville blockade, right? Is uh, right there. Um, or the Louisville military checkpoint. And this is that the uh, train cargo station. I believe this is a gas station here too, so. I think that would be one of the next spots to get. But yeah, then we'd be kind of going back along this, this road here so we could get to the uh, the mall. But we could also go over this way to get to the mall. Um, and we're almost there this way too, so. But uh, I fear we'll, we'll clear that out and stuff. But anyway, for now, we're actually just right here. So. Oh, do we have any? Uh, we don't. Two Molotov cocktails on us. We'll finish up clearing the uh, houses there and then and we'll just keep going up on the freeway for now. We've killed just under 10,000 this street.
Oh shit. Setting each other on fire here, right? Be able to hop in that right now. Okay, we might end up burning down a house or two here, but I mean, who hasn't burnt down a house or two in the zombie apocalypse? They're just going to keep coming because there's no nothing to turn them around. Well, whatever. Let's pull them over this way. Hopefully there's nothing good in there. I was just hoping to stay here until they all burn to death, kind of thing. And they seem to mostly be burning to death now. We only killed a couple hundred of them, but that was really all there was there, right?
I figure we'll just let them do their thing now. We'll say that area is done because I don't want to have to go get another vehicle to come down there. I suppose we could just honk the horn and then kill guys as they come in with our stuff the old-fashioned way, but... Yeah, well. That was kind of a more awkward area to be using a siren in also, so, or siren in. secondary. We can't put this in. I guess there's no room for it, man. pretty far away. I don't think they're coming any closer. Yeah, there they go. I bet you we probably have five or six thousand close to there now. 
This is going to be beautiful. Can't wait to actually see them burning there. This last time we hit like back there, or was it right there? here. Not quite as insane as it was that time before, but... Still a lot of dead zombies. Oh, these guys see us. Okay, well, didn't hide as good as I thought we had. A lot of the pushing zombies that are on fire doesn't set you on fire. coming out there. Now they're dying in extreme quantities. I feel like we could go up there one more time. Well, on the horn a bit. No more. Okay, yeah, there's. Less than 500 there now, so. Okay, I heard a, yeah. I think I heard a zombie. Okay.
gonna give it up. Kill the 11,000 in the stream now. that way. Let's see how many we can get. I feel like we could go up. Uh, it's 10 o'clock. Uh, we should just sit in the car for a bit. Let them burn. We move the ambulance up more tomorrow and deal with stuff then. Okay, well, that's good enough. So yeah, we'll have to come back, we'll hack whatever's left there to death. And we'll move that up, I guess, to the right. And we could keep going towards the, uh... Towards the mall, or towards the... Where's the checkpoint? Mm. 
You know what? Maybe we'll go down and go along the east road. Do that. See how many we can get there. Actually, you know, I oh, I guess we got the car batteries to put away here. Hmm. We're gonna eat a thing of cereal, just cause. Cause we can. Eat some dog food. Now we're super depressed. What do we got? Oh, no, wait, we got no. None of that left. Okay. Too full to eat. Well, we gotta read books. Seven hours in there. Okay, well, okay, so we're at that. Just want to take another quick peek here. So I and mean, this is that turn off, it goes up there, over there, and then that connects up here, it goes down to the mall. It would be nice to be able to relocate up to here, I mean that's the, the kind of next step, right? And I feel like we need to clear out this way along, up to here at least. And maybe if we can get up to that intersection that would be... Spectacular. But yeah, we should go down to the East Road there. And uh, see what we can get. So we're just at the, the beginning of this. Oh, we could always try to clear off the road completely. But no, let's, uh, let's go East Road for now. it's back a little ways no I'm glad we got the little uh, town next to the river completely sorted out we got a bit further down the uh, main highway also this stream and so far we've killed uh, almost 12,000 Going back this way is not good for us. Those vitamins.
I didn't mean to do that. Sing there with the horn. I spotted us, but I don't think anybody else has. Okay, so we're killing another thousand or so zombies here.
It's not saying they're poisonous. We could quickly squeeze past these guys. There were a few more zombies down. Oh, hey, Mark Moody. Oh, geez, on this guy, we've been alive for two months, 13 days, eight hours. Sorry about that, you guys. Supposed to check in the chat for a little while there. all the guys from this ambulance, right? Well, there's a couple still dropping dead. Mm. Died from fear, not flames. I guess we're going up to the next part of the East Road. Remember, we're going to be trying to connect this with uh, way up here. So that is a bit of a ways. I don't know. Um, it's like 2 o'clock. I, I think I'll only stream to like 3 today. My eyes are kind of bugging me. I Yeah, for those of you that don't know, I, uh, I've got some eye problems right now. I'm staring at screens too much and started a bit later today so I could have, uh, I've got this like pack that I put on my face. It's like I heat it up in the microwave for a bit and then I put it over my eyes and we do that for five minutes. And then I also have eye drops I'm supposed to use. So I'm supposed to do that pack thing twice a day, eye drops four times a day. And uh, I only did the pack once yesterday and eye drops twice, so. It's weird how much you end up feeling that. things first. Ooh, here we go. More zombie killing with sirens. Oh, that's actually getting a bit close there.
I'll turn around and go back in just a second. I'm currently we're at over 12,000 kills for the day. It's kind of open for 15,000 or something like that. That would be uh, ideal. Probably not going to get quite that high. So I'm just thinking 100,000 guys here. It'd be nice to be able to... I mean, I, I'm sure we aren't going to kill as many as we are currently like along the highway and then over here and until we get into the mall. Um, that's going to be uh, probably a pretty epic stream. Apparently, yeah, I guess the strategy going forward is going to be... Uh, uh, we'll go up the east road here till we, you know, connect it up with that. We might go up this path and clear the rest of the way up to the roadblock. Uh, where they have the, um... Where they have the, uh... Guess there's still guys coming. This idea would go up that way a bit. Up the horn. Nope, 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 not working. Oopsie! Never mind, never mind. You guys, uh, just chill out there. I'll, I'll be back. It's so dangerous so quickly. We're gonna have to repair that trunk. Um. I think we're good here. Okay, yeah, but you know, that's yeah, yeah, there's a, a big military checkpoint going into Louisville. Um, there's a bunch of tents in there that usually has some really good guns. Okay, yeah, now, uh, now we're talking. Okay, yeah, well, uh, we killed the zombie over here, didn't we? Yeah, there he is. Okay. I hope you like tin cans. So if you do, do I have a big prize for you? the next level forging. Okay. Bit of a ways now.
see anybody else coming that way. We're just gonna have to let some of these guys uh, burn, I think. I feel like we're not gonna be able to do on this road what we do on the others just because it's so narrow by comparison, right? This guy's level four. We don't have the book for it currently, so that really sucks because it's taken a while longer for it to go up. But it's, like really, what else are we gonna do while we wait for these guys to burn? One guy not on fire. Just the rest is. And the reason we pull it off is so all the corpses don't end up on the road, but these guys are probably gonna burn down real quick here. Actually, side note, let's see uh see what's in here. Hey, duct tape, awesome. We still have a wrench on us, don't we? Yeah, we do. Okay. Um. I really thought we were out of your uh, kind of vision range here, you guys. Sorry. My bad. Oh, did we go down too far? No, we didn't. Sometimes I just eat wild mushrooms I find. I read one magazine on it once, so I'm all good. ambulance up to the next spot. I think we should be at the first intersection pretty quick here. Jeez, uh, we almost have uh, 13,400 kills for the stream right now, so...
just have you guys walk up to us. I didn't realize we were tired. Still, our slashing's getting pretty good here, so. That big of a deal? Okay, well, I think we gotta head back now because we're all tired. You know what? It is only 5.30. I think... Hmm. Okay, actually, here we'll watch this. Oh, damn. Just how many of these guys we'd be dealing with coming this way. Okay. Well, we'll go rest up. Uh, now we're gonna have to fight back to the ambulance when we come back. Which does kind of suck, but. day with that ambulance there. So nice seeing the whole highway clear of zombies all the way up. Still the guy hiding in this diner in the bathroom. Ah, okay. Scrap here. Uh, let's leave this here actually. So we'll actually use it. It's seven o'clock. I think we should make a bunch of soup. We'll probably bring our cooking up to the next level when we do that. So, yeah.
Okay, there we go. A bunch of black bean soup. We're just going to do this now. said also okay cool um, I'm just gonna open up a can of peaches we'll leave the soup for now we'll eat more of that later and do we have a pop to drink let's drink a beer can we'll smoke one of these cigarettes let's drink another beer And we sleep. Okay. So. Is that done? Uh, yeah, we can read the next cooking book. And it's after cooking level 9 that you get the uh, the special bonus. Those of you that don't know, yeah, when you're cooking level 9 and you cook, like, soup like that, you get one whole helping and then an extra half helping afterwards. With every thing of soup you make. So it's like you get 150% of the food you make when you make food. So it uh, it does actually come in quite handy. Yeah, I didn't know that till well, like the first time we uh, that happened. I'm like, what the hell? Didn't we just drink all the soup? What's going on here? And you know, you drink it, and then you you end up just like you drink all of it, but then you still have half afterwards. So yeah, it's like rather than getting 400 calories per soup, you get 600 calories. <laughs> yes, yeah, all uh magic. I mean, doesn't doesn't time go by when you uh you go to sleep? You just kind of close your eyes and then you wake up and you're you're there. Um. Okay. Uh, do we have any? Oh, we got one Molotov on us. Do we have? Oh, uh, we probably should go over to the East Road. Because, I mean, we're only this far up it, right? I mean, we could kind of go up till we get to the first intersection. Ah, oh, man. No, no, we'll go over there. We'll go over there and hack a bunch to death with machetes. Hey, we're almost at 30,000 know killed so that's 30 percent of the way through i mean if we get up to 33 thousand well i guess we have to get up at 34 thousand because there was about a thousand that we killed in west point but uh yeah for the roughly hundred thousand in valley station here it's just breezing by seeing as this is part three and i mean if we can kill 10 percent of the zombies here each each stream and we even looted some stuff too like it's uh it's pretty crazy
120 miles an hour. Down a dirt road. Always a terrible idea, especially during the zombie apocalypse. That saves us a bunch of time, right? I totally didn't realize how much, how different the sound effects are when you're on the dirt road compared to the gravel one here. But yeah, another thing, like level 10 aiming, sometimes you shoot and it doesn't use a bullet. Like you'll shoot and you'll hit a guy and it just will be like, no, no bullets used. not concerned with you. You turned around a lot faster than I thought you would. Kill these guys also. I think this is it for the guys that came chasing us after that ambulance. The ambulance chasers as we'll call them. Scummy lawyers. I don't know why they got such a bad rep for uh, being scummy. You know, it's like, hey, people get injured if it's somebody else's fault or someone's negligence. They should pay up for it. I mean, that's honorable stuff to do, right? for almost killing me. Are you guys really- none of you are walking through that flame? Okay, there we go. Oh, we're gonna have to go back a bit further. Let's get over here. That'll hide us from them pretty good. Okay, never 
nochmal. Try to pull these guys back up this way. Oh. hide right here. Okay. I think they're all going back now. Sneeze there. Held it in though, so did not sneeze all over my microphone. Yeah, we're probably hitting that group of six thousand now. That's the start of it, so yeah, that's it's a lot of zombies. the intersection. Okay. So where they seem to be tracking us longer here. Damn. Where the hell these guys are coming from? Over 30,000 kills with this character. So. I 
like we can drive our car up there and honk our horn a bunch and come back. Next time we'll move the ambulance up to that intersection. We'll keep going down this road and we'll go to the, the mall a bit later on. Definitely not this stream. Okay, hey, well, uh, uh. It might seem kind of weird, but that's going to set all them on fire real quick. out there. Kill this guy here. Holy crap.
Okay, so we've killed uh, 14,000 this stream. I mean, there, there's got to be another almost 2,000 there. Hmm. Didn't think we'd be uh, luring that many down here. Like, this is... Oh, sweet. Let's just straight up eat an onion. That's how hungry we are. Oh, um, we need to smoke a cigarette. Okay, cool. Figure we can use second wind today. Jeez, they're still all there. I was gonna run up there and see if we could lure some more guys down. But, uh. Hmm. We were just hopping our car and, uh. You know, speed up time for a bit. Ah, uh, actually, no, fuck it, we'll still forge. Twigs? Fuck yeah. It's like hoping for some twigs. burned real quick. We'll see if we can move that up. We're at 15,000, uh, what, 
Four hundred for the stream about. Holy crap. Car's just rocking around here. the first intersection there. Huh. Well. I do kind of want to kill like 16,000 on the stream. Uh, hey, monks. We're at 15.5, but... Or monkey. I don't know why I thought it was monks. don't know why I saw that E as an S. Actually, I think that's a sign I should probably uh, turn off the stream for now and uh, look at something else. I look down and I see a letter E and I think it's an S. I mean, my autometrist would not be proud of me there. Yeah, my eyes are kind of bugging me. So yeah, yeah, we'll we'll call it a stream for now. But hey, this game is one of the best games I've ever played. It's uh, it is really, I, it's like Minecraft, but like for zombies and stuff. I mean, just a, a massive map, and like I think it's usually thirty bucks, and it, like it's just it's so worth it. Um, gotta mention, probably should get some mods also. Um, with it. Uh, you know, free as always, but. This is truly, yeah, one of the best games I've ever played. And I haven't even tried multiplayer on it. Like, that's the other thing. Is the, There's a whole other world of Project Zomboid out there. That's multiplayer Zomboid where you sometimes even fight other players and stuff. And, uh... Give you some idea about this game. This game has been out for 12 years, and it's just become popular. Um, they keep doing updates for it, which are free, which is why it's still in quote-unquote early access. It's not early access, it's just because it's still early access, they're able to put updates out for a cheaper price or something on Steam. It has something to do with how Steam works. Um, but yeah. I just got to recommend this game. I, I mean, it's... Like, once again, I've played, uh, what, 766.7 hours. So at 30 bucks, I've spent about four cents per hour I've spent playing this game. Uh, yeah, you can't go wrong with that price. Like, it's... 
It's pretty crazy. Actually, okay, what I think we'll do here is this. So we need to read cooking volume five, right? So we'll eat some food, go to sleep and get up, and then read the book all day tomorrow. And after that, we'll call it a stream. Let's sleep. Then we'll get up and we'll read the cookbook. Yeah, it's uh, yeah, this is a solo one. What we're trying to do here is we're trying to kill as many zombies as possible. So, like on this character, we've got thirty-one thousand eight hundred fifty-five. The goal is really to reach a million zombies. I think. Um, hold on. On previously killed characters, we've got two hundred sixty-seven thousand one hundred nineteen kills. So we're pretty close to 300,000. We're like about, oh, what, um, a thousand away from 300,000 roughly. So, I mean, that's, that is pretty nuts. Um, Give me a second here. I'll be right back. Um, what's that? Okay, cool. Just uh, updating the uh, updating the number of zombies we got killed there. So yeah, we killed 15,000 uh, during this stream. Um, so let's start reading. Whew, give a hoot, read a book. Yeah, you know, this is just basically gonna take all day. We took Slow Reader as a, a negative perk so we could uh, get the points for it. Because the advantage of playing solo is you're going to F6 and go like super fast, so like 10 minutes, 10 minutes, 10 minutes, and uh, and just read over the course of a day. You're, you're going to have to eat some food and whatnot, but... that. We'll have a cigarette. Then we'll um, put on Z-Squad. We'll read while that's going on. Our boredom will drop because we're watching a VHS tape. Okay, we'll put the tape back and we'll keep reading. Oh yeah, that, um, you get one and a half meals at level nine cooking. That even includes TV dinners. So when you put a TV dinner in the microwave and nuke it and then eat it, you get one and a half TV dinners rather than one TV dinner. I thought that was hilarious because I'm like, the microwave, really? Really? Okay, and there we go, done. Um, 
We're just gonna eat this mac and cheese because that gives us uh, 40 hunger back for 700 calories. So we, we'd be eating to excess if we went the other way. Okay. Um, well, I guess we still have to smoke. So we'll smoke in the dark here. Do not smoke cigarettes before going to sleep if you are a smoker. A lot of people burn themselves to death doing that. Well, they tend to actually die from smoke inhalation, but... It is one of those things. Okay. So there we go. We got the next level of cooking. We're almost up the next level of foraging. We need more empty bottles, so I'll have to drink some beer later on. Well, with this all being the case, we're uh, we're gonna call it a stream there. And uh, yeah, so we killed you know fifteen thousand zombies. We you know we got up to here, um, and we cleared out this area also. I mean, for the most part, there's probably a couple stragglers down there, but uh, actually, we're gonna X that out because it's burned. And yeah, and then we got up to this intersection here. Um, but it's it's nice, you know, we got the side along the river gone and And yeah, we're we are pretty close to uh like this is uh roughly where the checkpoint starts, if I remember right. I mean these are the tents after the checkpoint, so maybe the checkpoint starts even here. I wanna say it's like roughly under the eight though, that that happens. And, uh, actually, you know what? It might be down here. Because, uh, there's, there's like a hole in the wall as part of the train station that goes in, so. Hmm. Actually, no, I think it runs along that road. But, I don't know, been a while since we've, uh, been to Louisville in any game. So. It's crazy to think. Last time we were in Louisville was, uh, over a hundred episodes of Project Zomboy to go. And, uh. Yeah, but we're, we're at this intersection here, uh, down in the south there, so I'm going to go along there, and then we get to the parking lot of the mall, and then the mall itself, which, remember this, 9,496, those are the zombies outside the mall. Uh, however many zombies are inside the mall, that's added on to that. Same thing with this 24,000, there's a few in there, and some in the Cineplex. Um, there's a gas station there, and some uh, some other businesses there, too. Oh, there's a bunch of kind of straggler houses here. Jeez. Uh, like, what the hell is this 5,104 doing along the side of the road here? Like, they gotta just be in the woods here, right? Like, next to the... Next to the road. But, like, as we move that ambulance down here, like, can you imagine how, how crazy it's gonna get for, like, how many zombies we're gonna be luring out? Because, like, we set it up here where there's... You know, what, uh, let's say roughly, like, 11,000 between these four squares... And we'll get about 1,500 coming down to the ambulance. Um, and this guy's got guys on the other side of the, the river here that can't make it over, right? So, anyway. Um, yes, yeah, so next time I guess we'll we'll come up here. We'll try to get in through this way. We'll probably actually take the ambulance up this way and we'll try to, you know, clear off this road in its entirety. So that we can uh, reach the, the mall both different ways. And then I guess going to the mall, I think it would be easier to go along this road here. There's another road that goes up here that we can't quite see. Um, but this looks like that's one of those narrow kind of dirt roads. And I really don't want to have to deal with that going into the mall. Um, the other option is we, we take the road the long way around here and then come down. And in this way. But either way, stream's done. And uh, thank you guys very, very much for watching. And I will see you guys next time for a bit more Project Zombie. What are we going to do in this fog? We should have saved reading the book for one more day. Then we would, you know, just read through the fog. Anyway. So yeah, thanks for watching once again. I'll see you guys next time. Peace. Bye.